what's up guys this is the rifleman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as venice and in this episode we are capturing the georgian capital to finally destroy these posturing fools once and for all i'm gonna be very careful now because this will open up quite a large um front line between ourselves and poland and russia uh not terrible in the grand scheme of things but in the short term it could be a bit spooky so let's go get them So the only thing to worry, well, not even worry about really, um, in their army is the mortar battery. Perpetually scared of mortars. They can do a lot of damage if you let them um, concentrate their fire. So you've got to be very, very conscious of that. Anyway, let's get set up and we'll storm in, take the city, and then probably down the line fortify it. But we definitely want to grow our strength in that area as well. Oh, lovely flat field. Oh, gonna sneeze. Sorry about that. I don't know why I keep sneezing in this office. It's not. Maybe I need to dust it. I don't know. Okay, let's set up my line. My militia on the left. Give them some cavalry backup because they might be an enticing target for their cavalry because they've got a lot of it. I should split my howitzers up a little bit. Both of you guys aim for some of these horses. Nice. So run up the line. Keep everyone advancing rapidly. Let's change the quick climb to engage some of these infantry units because now their cavalry is going to come after us. Get what you like, your rubbish cavalry. They've charged my line infantry, my Swiss line are also holding strong. Let's give, make sure my infantry that's fighting is being backed up. Yeah, see provincial cavalry, like shattered, shattered. This unit's going to go down. Don't even need to send my cavalry to go get them. Okay, let's push up. This flank a little bit more. Being careful. Can I do this? Okay, there we go. That cavalry push has been defeated. Push on my line. Get my cavalry out of the way. Make these guys drop in the square just in case they try and change target. My foot, my, my foot artillery is still engaging their mortars. They're with varying degrees of success. But it doesn't matter for now. Provincial Cav still trying to break our squares. But they're not going to. Are you trying to engage my... You are trying to engage my hussars. No, my, my hussars turn around and engage. There we go. Cavalry dealt with. Form our line. Okay. 
Excellent. Okay, let's fo yeah, focus the quick lime on the flank so we can start to wrap around. Let's get my cavalry on the flank a bit more involved. Get my hussars in to go after their mortars. We'll redirect our artillery fire against the flank as well. We'll get my general's bodyguard out here. Okay, let's start to form a bit of a, a bit of a bulge. Get all my cavalry to smash these mercenaries. After that, we can start to wrap around here. A little bit of friendly fire here. Then you re engage targets in the center. They're both shattered. Get the sixth regiment. Excellent. Here we go. This unit should not be long for this world. Get my general start to pursue some units. Howitzers engage targets in the centre. Some of you are actually eh, kind of in range, but not massively. Let's chamfer this corner off. Cavalry get in there and attack the general. Howitzer switched around shot, engage the second. All my artillery engage the second. This branch of infantry here can start to form a new line. You men, I mean, these guys will be harassed enough. Get you guys working on a line over here. Kill the general. I wish you could take them, you could capture them and keep them prisoner. I mean, that actually sounds a bit nefarious, doesn't it? See, the general's right there in the middle. He should go down. Take him out. Oh, he's worked his way to the edge. There we go. We re engaged him. Got him. Yeah, let's speed up time. My artillery is useless, so let's just cease fire. There's no point getting them to engage. Hey. You guys can actually do some engaging. But artillery aren't quite useless. Engage the militia. Yeah, they've got line of sight. Yeah, they're firing. First shot, bang on. Although the eighth regiment are gonna fire into this ninth. I'm gonna I'm gonna allow it. Oh, they had to they had to fidget around, that's lucky. Well, they've broken anyway. Either way, the this is going to be the force that breaks them. 
made it along fairly well. You're very tired, but ran. They're going to get some shots off at us first, and that is okay. They're going after the 61st Regiment. There they go. Oh, the other force hasn't even been engaged yet. Oh, there they go as well. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Good. Oh, no, oh, they came back. Too late. We'll take the win. Excellent. So there goes the faction of Georgia. Nice. Let's take the city. Let's repair the government buildings. Let's get rid of the boarding house for a... Maybe not for a church school, because we've already got an agent in here converting the population. You can just hunker down and get ready to defend any individual threats that come in. Um, you'll take the conscripts here. Well, actually, what I really do want to do is to start. Interesting. Really, I want to start getting rid of some of these conscripts. So I think you've got units being recruited as well. Or maybe you don't. Either way, 3,000. Make sure we spend it wisely. And I think wisely... Might be a gold mine. Yeah. Okay, then elsewhere. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go after... Let's, yeah, let's auto that. That's going to be... That's a simple battle. We're going to keep the government the military building, rather. Because we want to start building up um, infantry garrisons here and smaller forces to start to push into Russia. You've got two options here, two good options for church schools to push forward. But then again, we've got lots of religious agents as it is, so it's not well, we can't do anything about it yet anyway. Crimea is <clears throat> being converted. We can start taxing them now because they, they are happier. They'll be even happier once we get rid of um, <clears throat> once we get rid of the last of the Orthodox religion. For some of these regions, we want to check. Let's do a bit of a check now, actually. How many are 100% Catholic now? Because you've got... Well, you are 100% Catholic anyway. Zagreb's 100% Catholic. But they don't have a church school. Um, Vienna's 100% Catholic. Neither do they. 60-40, you're not being converted. Nearly on Hungary. Nearly on Sarajevo. We haven't even started on Patras. Oh, Greece. So you've got a lot of regions actually that still need to be worked on internally. Let's not worry about maxing them out yet because I doubt we're that, that close on any of them. Uh, nice. Uh, Egypt. 11 turns till Aswan develops. What can you get? Nah. Um, Baghdad's okay. And they're converting as well. Sweet. Okay, let's hit end turn. Lots of our pre-recruited units are going off towards the Polish front. We're just trying to rebuild those armies after that very large action fought up over there a few turns ago. <laughs> okay. 
Come with us, Persia and Italy. They both joined us. None of Spain's ally. You go for Cairo. Hmm. You're going to raid. Okay, I think we have the strength now to start a proper war against Spain. So I think we need to invade North Africa and prevent this from happening. And also start to build up a navy. A navy and actually use it. Because, uh... I mean, I am perpetually afraid of Prussia. If they hit... Um, if they hit our city, that's going to be incredibly dangerous. Don't worry, here comes Savoy and their handful of units. <laughs> Persia's going to go attack Dagestan. Fortunately, I am not at war. Well, fortunately, that war was going on before we're allied with them. Okay, enemy raid in Verona. Take a conscript blob to go get them. Yeah, a handful of weak militia. Let's repair the university. Okay, let's not forget the the priority is still the economy because when we, when we need to start ramping up our troops rapidly uh we're gonna need it we're gonna upgrade the government building here in Cherkask. we're gonna build a we are gonna build a church school because i think we need a lot of religious agents to start working this area then we're gonna put a craft workshop upgrade the farm upgrade the infrastructure here but that's still good Okay, let's make sure our agents are pushing on. You're pushing on to Astrakhan. As we secure this area, these government buildings will be destroyed and replaced with um, proper civilian administrations rather than military ones. Okay, let's bring our navy back more where it can actually fight from. Let's move the galley out from Heracleon. Let's get a unit of guerrilla mercenaries. Actually, no, they're limited. Let's get a unit of militia to hold the shipyard. Although we do have a naval hospital, so we can start to build an actual beastie fleet. Okay, lots of industry. So we're not going to... We could... Okay, how about this? We could stop them from attacking. We could do that. Or... Or... I let them attack. I let them take the city... So that I can just attack them and destroy them in one fell swoop. That is another option. Or I could just attack them. We just need to make sure that our... Um, garrisons in Jerusalem and Damascus are secure. Because we risk just pushing them out here and causing more trouble later on. Disembark. Because that's actually quite a decent army. Alberto Chavez. In the, well, in the, yeah, let, you know what? Let's just let's just not let them get a toehold. Let's save money and not let them get Cairo. I mean, it's a really nice looking army. I like this a lot. But our bog standard line infantry more than up to the task. We need to make sure we're quite fastidious with our 
cavalry that we chase down and kill as many as we can. Um, yeah, but then this army wants to get turned around and fired towards Tunis. We don't, you know, this is this is too much. We need to start taking territory from them and start making them pay for what they're doing. Fight for the hill? I think not. You're going to push over the hill towards us. An almighty infantry line. Yeah, bugged artillery. Yeah, massive crews. Bugged cuirassier as well. Nice. So they've only got one unit of demi cannons. So my artillery is just better. More accurate. They can shoot better. Are they aiming at my cuirassier? Yeah, they are. But by the looks of it, we are going to knock out their... Knock out their guns. So I'm just speeding it up just right now. Ooh, if you sit by the artillery, you're going to get some good... We're going to get some good um, additional kills here. Okay, Dragoons are coming in. I mean, Spanish Dragoons, they do look lovely. Are you going to break? Yes, you are. And as you're going to break... Where you want to crank up the line. If you want to come back, you can speak to my cuirassier. My cavalry out wide. There you go, they came back. We charge in again though, my infantry is going to be in position. Go on 50th, give them a volley. Commit my cuirassier. Well, that was their target. Fine. You can attack my cuirassier if you like. being chased by their pikemen, so let's stay mobile. They're down to one gun. Why are you wavering? Okay, commit the cavalry back in. Charge the rear of the Tercio pikemen. Trouble is, they ran in a weird, long and thin formation. I, mean, I love the Tercio pikemen. They look, they look great. Get my general to go after their re retreating gunner. Okay, get my light cavalry to run away. Make sure my artillery is engaging something like you.
and get those gorillas. I think we might lose some of our cavalry here. Actually, my infantry, to be honest, you need to run around the back. I, I, see, pikemen are really good at just churning through enemy infantry. It's just what they do. But you do need sometimes to be a bit more creative with how your men engage them. Get my general back, because there's a lot of enemy gorillas over here. You men are going to be guard mode off. You're going to chase down these pikemen when you've killed them. A lot of Spanish troops here. Okay, general, come over here. Infantry de Marina. Chase after them. Kill, kill, kill. I don't mind taking losses in this one because we. You know, this is the only threat in the area. Chase after these Dahoney Amazons. So then these infantrymen might get the Gorilla Mercenaries. And they did. Chase down the Royal Clyro Infantry Guards. Don't worry about the Gorilla Mercenaries here. They're over here. Chase down the Royal Irish. Shut our line. Our gunners keep engaging the general's bodyguard. We've very much been neglecting the infantry battle. Theory should go for should have gone for them. But I wanted these marines. Good for the line infantry. See, they came back, the swines. They might actually beat that cure that that colonial light curve unit, so keep running. Get these cuirassiers over here. You men go after some of the Amazons. Not worried about militia. There we go. General's bodyguards are treating back to the last unit that's actually alive. Yeah. Pack them down. And hack down these these Spanish troops. Not a very good uh, action as far as keeping things tight and consistent goes. Not so bothered about the general. Let's make sure we get his cronies. The <laughs> cronies. Help get these guys. Yeah, because a bunch of them are over there. Nice. 
nice. Hey, General, you come over here as well. Break out the Grenadiers. Gonna cease fire. Everyone go for the Grenadiers. Then we'll go for the shotgunners. And every, everyone go after. Is that all of them? Now oh, there's one shotgunner somewhere else. Oh, he's back here. Someone's going to turn around and go back this way. Although, that. Uh, that old, old switcheroo might work. Ooh, it's the officer. He's got his halberd. Unless he stops to fight. Right click. There he goes. Oh, it counts as I haven't even got to him yet, and he's dead. Nice. But still, that was a good win. How many have they got? 200 men remaining. Avanti, yeah, the garrison at Jerusalem can deal with them now. Avanti, so you're going to stay with the garrison. You men are going to... Okay, first of all, I might actually combine some of these units. Oh, wait, your colonial line, your regular line, there is a limit. Okay. Line, 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 line. Then my weakest line unit. Just to open up another slot. Replenish plus. Okay, what can we recruit from here? Can we recruit any form of. Okay, recruit howitzers. They wanted to get me marines, but I don't know they'd where would they come from? All the way from Istanbul, I would assume. Marines and Fusiliers would be nice. Um, let's just make sure they are recruiting. Non è the... We're recruiting howitzers from Damascus. Plus a unit of Marines. Let's get some early Marines. We'll ship them over there to join this force, and then they'll sail over and land at Tunis. Uh, Naples. Start to build up a bit of a garrison. We do still have a British army sat here in the middle of Italy, although they appear to not want to move. And a Spanish army as well up here. Okay, let's get an extra unit of... Oh, actually, let's maybe not recruit five turns worth of conscripts. Let's instead recruit one turns worth of line, ship them over to Naples from Athens. Okay, recruitment. Avanti! 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 Per il paese! Excellent. Good. So we're just holding the siege of Warsaw. Got Russian troops nearby that may still help. But now we can start to try and rebuild Luka Komin's army. Verona will be ready next turn. Konya is going to research seed planting drill, then go on to advanced irrigation. Could do a really good steam engine, but Verona right now is chomping away at the military techs. So when Verona's ready for the next technology, we'll get them working on steam engine. That will be quite a powerful technology. You get that Spanish fleet deployed an army and just watch them immediately get destroyed. Spain's immediately deploying another one. Okay, I think we need to... Oh, I forgot about that. 
Polish army. Um, but the good defenders at Warsaw are sallying. Let's take them out. Let's go ahead and kill them with the Russian army in support. Sit back, be on the defensive, and yeah, things will be fine. Funny, really, the one front I didn't check at the end when we end turn phase was the Romanian front. Um, if they go for Bulgaria, my other army will just chase after them and lay siege to the city and take it back from them. Um, if that's what they elect to do. Right, so. We've got lots of mortars. Sit back. Defend. Let them break themselves against our defences. Let's deploy some stakes. Woods artillery is going to be kind of useless, but it will do there. Howitzers are always going to be useful. We've actually deployed their army. The howitzers in front of the walls. Interesting. So that changes the strategic picture dramatically. Push! Oh, I might not have been talking that entire time. Sorry, I had a cough and I muted my microphone. And yeah, I hope that's not what happened. We'll soon find out. How it is. Round shots. I think they're going after our pikemen, but because we're in a bit of a bottleneck. They're doing a lot more damage than they otherwise normally would. <laughs> One you man, you gotta push up close. guys need to limber up, although you're in a terrible position to do anything. These Russians are going to come in and storm down this flank, so if we can take the city walls, that'll be super useful. Just open up. Yeah, so to get the guns into battle, I have to... Right, well, actually, that's not too terrible. You can't run them over those defences that we placed for our infantry, because they will die as they try to cross it. Just run in and... melee them. You men are going to position yourselves ready for the Russians. These men advance to surround the enemy outside the gate. Something like that. So let's take these two line infantry units. Attack the city gates. We 
we go. So Poland's falling back. We're going to capture their city. We've killed their general. Oh, this lowly infantryman. Unbeknownst to him or anyone else, bayoneted him. You e men capture that corner piece. You e men capture that piece of wall. Let's bring my cavalry up here as well. Line infantry guards become. I thought I was short a few infantry units. The pikemen get up here. Force guard pushing in. Yeah, you can deploy here and lobs start lobbing shells over the line. Tree a bit safer. Squares form ready. Actually, to be fair, you guys don't have to push. This particular unit can go capture the gate. You men want to capture this gate. Garcia want to attack. Form square. Bring the pikemen in. General's bodyguard and water garrison units out wide. There the pikemen plus the musketry. Saw them off. But why are you guys being such a buggy mess? Oh, these guys, look. Why are they just like running, stopping, running, stopping? Okay, we own all the gates now. Force guards are coming back, so push them in, push my pikemen in. Ooh, actually that warband is not ideally placed. Okay, you guys come in here. Foot artillery, just stop slamming shells in there. Howitzers go wide, then come in. Uh, 
it's my general. Let's get my general inside. Great, that's the militia routing. Skirmishers engaging the Vibjorni Streltsy because they're being hit by fire from the square as well. Come on, you men, give them a volley. They've lost a good number of men. on the wall with the guns. You're going to fire down into the city against the 3rd Regiment, that's super. And their only way out is to climb out from our um, grappling hooks, so if we just stay here this unit will get slaughtered. Okay, you men are going to be fine. The regiment of horse are going to go down. They won't penetrate the square. He's going to pikeman back out. And let's put men there. We want to make sure we, put, we draw these guys in as, as far as we can. Let's pull back. These guys are slowly getting up top. Okay, now the next target is going to be this unit of militia. Eventual lines come back. Horsemen are coming back, but our skirmishers are now fully reloaded. Hey, you men, man the guns. So advance the skirmishes towards them. Oop, engage. Let's take some of this infantry and do that. To be honest, you can just halt, unlimber, quick climb, drop some danger close quick climb. Artillery just starts slack, smacking shots down here. Okay, 
This could actually work. From their perspective. Drop the defensive quick line. The line infantry have broken. Let's go for the 24th, make sure they are here, they're gone, let's cease, let's stop the quick climb because it's going to be no good. <laughs> Just in time, kind of. Okay, a lot of guards have broken, unsurprisingly. engage infantry attack these militia that are up on the wall drop into square because that cavalry unit's coming back new men in skirmishes form up a new line Charge off the wall. Focus on quick line for those two units. Keep the line formed up here. Okay, the pikemen are going to break because we're shooting into the combat. carnage as well you want a bayonet fight you can have a bayonet fight let's go get him make sure my general's out here withdraw this line a little bit retarget my guys inside I mean how it says get the hand mortars because they're gonna wreck house get involved general same with my Foot artillery. You men get out there to try and engage them, just stop them from firing. Their general's bodyguard is committed. Excellent, my mercenaries are here ready to shoot. Make sure it hasn't. Grenadiers are pushing in. That's right, men, man the fire step. The line infantry guards have returned. There we go, they're gonna break now. Now the wall's up and firing. Mercenaries are gone. Grenadiers are gone. Siege of Warsaw was not relieved. General's bodyguard's upset. Let's make sure my general's engaging him. Got him. 
Now their general's fallen. That's going to be enough for them. Nice. That's what you get. That's what you get. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, that army is just effectively nearly completely destroyed. Pushed back. Fortunately, that force isn't going to push south. That's a real bit of luck for us, actually. More Russian troops are inbound. You can attempt to save the city if you like. However, Russia, you've got a serious problem, and that problem is the Caucasus. We've now broken through. And as our infrastructure gets better and better, we're going to be able to generate smaller armies to go and infiltrate and take other cities. So we've still got that Spanish army in the west of Egypt to deal with. They're going to raid their way to Cairo, and that's fine. <laughs> the Pakistan's been pushed out. I mean, don't come at me. I didn't do anything. If you got beef with Persia, you sort it out. Seed planting drill is done. Verona's one turn away from far in advance, so we're going to get Verona working on with steam engine. Actually, you might do that now, really. Yeah, just a big bonus to wealth. We don't need fire in advance. We want wealth. Money! Excellent. Port upgrades and road upgrades. Okay, upgrade. Nothing done at Chukask. We can demand the surrender at Astrakhan. Yeah, get the roads built. No towns have been built. 26 turns for Samura. Population going to be converted to Catholicism pretty rapidly. Two, three, four. I mean, do you, Mr. Ferretti? You can leave. Do you threaten Moscow? Is that the way we go? Because with Moscow gone, they lose a lot of their strength. Let's have a poke about, see what we can see. Okay, got some raiding, ro some ro roving Russian forces around. We might want to stay near a Chukask until we've got the governor's barracks built. Send this agent up to Kazan. No one's waiting for us at Ufa. That's great. 26,000. Okay, you might want to stay to the west of the port, really. We may even start to build up another army here so that we've got one army that can deal with these guys. Then another army that can sail in. Ooh, one second. Yeah, I think I'm getting sick. Uh, okay, so we want, probably want another army here in Jerusalem that's able to march west. Let's recruit. Get a general. Ludovico Castro. Something like that is probably what we want. The militia can just stay as a perpetual garrison. Could 
go after their navy because it's pretty weak. Uh, I want more, more ships. Build a dockyard. So the garrison of Crimea are going to be pretty safe, especially if you come within range. Uh, yeah, just auto resolve that. Sixteen thousand. So you guys, we're going to get aboard Piraeus. We'll board a ship at Piraeus. Oh, if it lets me move. Ooh, Taranto is not actually protected. Get the troops into the city. Let's get a cheap upgrade here. Or cheaper port upgrade here. Probably upgrade. Roads in Milan. You men hop back into Venice. Upgrade the Iron Master's works. Nice. I mean, I am mildly concerned about what happens if all of these guys push for Prague. I'll take a skirmish of warband. <laughs> oh no, actually no, that's not the... Oh, okay, it's going to be... Oh, I can't actually re reinforce anything here. You are currently reinforcing. I only need to reinforce you as well, don't we? Okay, let's put you... Maintain the siege. This force can be the reinforcing army. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers everyone.